Hi, uh, welcome to the Cook Along Club. Um, so we're going to be making lemon curd, which is just probably the tastiest, most delicious thing in the world ever. You can't buy lemon curd. I know you can buy it, literally you can buy it in shops, but it's just not as good. And it's so easy and it's so simple. I really, really urge you to make this. Um, great for the kids. It takes 10 minutes, start to finish, start to think about it to finish. That's how fast it is. So in my bowl, I've got 50 grams of butter, 100 grams of sugar. And I've got that sat over some hot water. You don't want the hot water touching the bottom of the bowl. You just want the hot water there to just gently heat it. Um, I'm going to zest some lemons. I'm going to juice some lemons. Two lemons, or if they're teeny tiny, do three. You know, you've got to gauge average size of a lemon. If it's one massive lemon, just do one. Or you could do one and a lime, whatever. Don't overthink it. Um, so I'm going to zest first, and then I'm going to juice them. Once all that is melted all together, we'll then put in the eggs at the last minute. Lots of people like to zest. Um, one thing you need to know though is we only want that top yellow bit. We don't want anything else. We don't want the white bit underneath. That's bitter. We want the lemon bit on the top. That's where all the smell is and all the flavour. So one, two and turn it. One, two, turn it. One, two and turn it. And you're just gently taking off that outer layer. Don't do it too roughly, do it gently. Get the kids to do it, it's not a problem. But just get that outer layer. Don't even think about going past that outer layer. So just one, two, and keep turning. It's really easy. Also, it doesn't hurt your arm so much if you just keep turning it. But the smells already are amazing. You just got that real zesty zing, it kind of wakes you up. It's a good thing to do on a Sunday morning, I think. Make some delicious lemon curd, because you can have that for breakfast, you could have it in some meringue later, you could have it in some cake. I'm making it and putting it into little teeny tiny pastries, which are really super cute and bite-sized. So really nice for an afternoon tea, or just something a little bit delicious. And the key to this really is having a finer grater as you can get. If you haven't got a fine grater, then what you can do is once you make it, is you can put it through a sieve or something. Um, again, don't overthink it, but what you want this to be is really silky smooth. So it's got that really nice mouth feel, uh, tastes really delicious and looks really delicious. If you find that your grater is too thick and it's a little bit stringy in your mouth, then just put it through a sieve. It's really forgiving, it's not going to get angry with you for it. It's going to be quite happy. So yeah, really nice to use um, with cakes. Really nice to use in these little tartlets. So it's almost like a tartar citron. But five minutes to make. Four ingredients. Easy peasy, easy peasy. So I'm going to juice this, but I'm using my trusty little juicy juicer, only because it catches the seeds, which I don't really want in there. But again, this is quite a nice little gadget you can use with the kids. And what I like to do is juice over the sieve. The, um, the grater, because it kind of gets all those extra bits out that you couldn't get out yourself without grating your fingers off. So that's half a lemon. So it's just good to give it a little jiggle and then re-press it. You just want to get all that juice out. You don't want that going in the food bin. You want that flavour. So loads of juice in there. Loads of zest. And it's gently going to melt.
so eggs wise for this um you want really old eggs and that sounds really stupid but you want the oldest eggs you can get we we've got chickens in the garden lockdown purchase don't ask um and they are fabulous but you've got to use their eggs when they're about two three weeks old otherwise they're just too fresh um and you find that you get bits of egg and again you can just sieve it it's not a problem but the older the eggs that you have the better they'll be so what we're going to do is break the eggs and then with a fork we're going to break them up as much as we can so a lovely job for the kids So you do want to make sure they're beaten really well because that'll just help it be really super smooth and delicious. So just a quick recap, we're making delicious lemon curd and in the bowl here we've got 100 grams of sugar, we've got 50 grams of butter and we've got the juice and the zest of two lovely lemons and wax lemons is what you want. If you haven't got unwaxed you just put them in a bowl of hot water and that will um, get the wax off. Only for a second, just dip them in, dip them out. But most places now you can buy unwaxed, which is just a lot better. They don't last as long, which is good. You know, you're getting them when they're freshest. Um, and granulated sugar. Granulated sugar just dissolves quicker. That's all it does. You can use other sugars, no problem, but you kind of want this to dissolve and be quite quick. So everything there is melted. So now I'm going to put the eggs in. So this is a bit like when you make mac and cheese. Once you put um, the milk in and everything, you need to keep whisking and not leave it. Not go on a wander, not get distracted, but it's not going to take long. So you'll put this in and you'll notice the difference straight away. If it's too hot, turn it down. You don't want it bo water boiling all around you. But what you're going to see is it going from very, very liquidy to something quite custard-like. And you'll just notice it thickening. This is thickening already. And it smells amazing. I wasn't very good at keeping the pips out, though. I've got a few that have snuck in. Cheeky monkeys. But there you go. That's pretty much done. So the eggs are cooked. And it's made it into a beautiful, beautiful custard. go I'll take that off because you can see that's still warm still hot but it's gonna set and it smells absolutely incredible so what we love to do and this is a really really easy thing is we buy don't judge me pre-made pastry cases these are teeny tiny bite size they're absolutely amazing you can get slightly bigger ones and you can get a massive one that you could slice um, into multiple pieces and I'm gonna make a right mess of this now I can tell you just do that and as it cools it's going to set so it's going to be like little mini tartar citron um just bite size zingy deliciousness i'll do another one but you can see it's already setting and this will last in the fridge for a couple of weeks just keep your eye on it but it will last a couple of weeks and it just tastes amazing I do know people that just eat it straight from the jar. I don't judge them. And that would never be me, ever. There you go. And if you've got loads of fruit, or you've got somebody who's a little bit stubborn and eating fruit, you could put a little piece of strawberry or a little raspberry or whatever on the top and just encourage them to try things differently. But this is something the kids can make themselves with a bit of reliable, responsible adult help, if you can find anybody. But enjoy. Look at that. Look, on the fancy plate. <laughs>